Good afternoon, dear learners. Welcome to live class. I am Amrita Samal. Today we are going to discuss chapter 12 and 13, which is introduction to C++ and basic concepts of OOPs. First, we will discuss about the basic features of C++, what are character set, keywords and many more things. Afterwards, we will discuss about OOPs concepts. So, moving to the next slide. First, we will have a look on what are the basic feature of C++. So, C++ is a high level programming language. It is developed by Brezhen Statistok at Bell Laboratories in the early 1980s. And C++ is the extension of C language. And though C++ based on OOPS concept, it follows the object oriented programming approach. Um, uh, at last, we will uh, discuss what is object oriented approach. Before that, first we will have the basic idea of C++. So, first of all, C++ is a high level programming language. Ye Brezhen Stratosrop ne developed kiya tha. And C++ ye extension hai C language ka. Then, first we will have a look on what is the character set C allows. So, character set is uh, some uh, collection of valid characters. In the character set, it includes alphabets, digits and some special symbols. So, if we talk about alphabets, it includes letters uh, it, is, it is in capital letter from A to Z and in the small letter again it considers from A to Z and under digits it includes 0 to 9. As we have discussed the character set it also includes some special symbols or special characters. So, under special characters we can include spaces, curly braces, then greater than symbol, less than symbol, greater than equal to and there are many more as I have mentioned here. Apart from the alphabets, digits and special symbols, we have white spaces. White spaces, it includes the horizontal tabs, then carriage return, the new line. These all the things you will come to know when we will start writing the programs in C++. For time being, you just uh, remember and you try to understand. Under character set, we have alphabets, digits, some special symbols and white spaces. Next, we will discuss about what are the basic data types C++ includes and what uh, is token. So, before that, first we should discuss what are the basic data types. Under basic data type, it includes character data type, integer data type, then here I have as mentioned sort integer, long integer, float data type, long, then long double. Uh, that here as I have mentioned uh, in integer, I have mentioned integer, sort integer and long integer. So, depends on the ranges defined, the data type is categorized as sort and long. As we will proceed to the next classes, when we will start to write C++ programs, the gradually we will learn what are these uh, categories of long integer and short integers. For this session, you understand that these are the basic data types what uh, uh, we are going to use while writing the C++ programs. So, apart from this basic data types, first uh, we should understand what is token. Token is nothing but a collection of characters. So, under tokens, uh, there are keywords, identifiers, literals and operators are coming under tokens. So, first we will discuss what is keywords, identifiers, literals and operators. So, first let us have a look on what are the keywords. Keywords kya hota hai? 
so keywords are some reserved words these are kind of words ye keywords ka meaning already compiler ko define kiya gaya hai it means the meaning of the specified keywords as a programmer or as a user we cannot change so these are the lists of keyword as i have mentioned here this list you can get from your books too so the uh, here i have mentioned few keywords there are a very uh, left out very few keywords i have left such as auto break case switch virtual these are all the fixed words ye sab words ka meaning change kiya nahi ja sakta these are the words the meaning of these words are already mentioned to the compiler so these keywords we cannot use as variable we cannot use as identifiers the basic meaning what it has already been defined to the compiler in the same way we have to use as keyword so the next is identifiers just now we have discussed the meaning of keywords the next is the identify these are all comes under token so what is identifier an identifier also it uh, consists of alphabets digits or uh, underscore then the identifier should not start with a digit so identifier kaise ho sakta hai identify alphabets ho sakta hai combination of alphabet and digits ho sakta hai and combination of alphabet digits underscore ho sakta hai but alphabet should not start with the digit i will give example how to write the uh, identifiers and how to declare a variable name when we are going to start writing the c++ program for time being you just remember these things as the guidelines or rules that identifiers can be the combination of alphabets digits and or or underscore but uh, identifiers should not start with the digits then as we know c++ is a case sensitive language means whatever we have mentioned in small letter it carries a different meaning rather if we are declaring two words having the same word for example here i have mentioned the word total twice here you can see the word total and here so the first word total i have mentioned in capital letter and the second word total i have mentioned in small letter though c++ is case sensitive these two total word are two different identifiers whatever the meaning we are going to give to these identifiers this having the different sense total word ka meaning do jagah use kiya gaya hai iska do total ka meaning alag alag hai kyunki c++ ek case sensitive language hai jo capital letter mein hum uh, agar declare karte hain aur small letter mein declare karte hain to these two different words having to different meaning so after that as we have discussed earlier the reserved words or what we are calling as keywords keywords uh, cannot be or should not be used as the identifiers so the keywords what we have discussed earlier the number of keywords are fixed and the meaning of the keywords we cannot change the keywords cannot be used as variables and the keywords cannot be used as identifiers these are some basic rules you have to remember then moving to the next slide let's uh this let's have a look on the operators operators are some special symbols 
which are used to perform some specific tasks so under operators we are having these operators such as arithmetic operator logical operators relational operators conditional operators unary operators assignment operator and comma operator so apart from the listed operators we have two more operators that is the first one is increment operator and the sec next one is decrement operator so in the next slides we will see how to use these all different kinds of operators so moving to the uh, next slides first we will discuss uh, what is arithmetic operator and what kind of different operators comes under this so here are the five operators uh, comes under arithmetic operator the first one is the addition minus is used for subtraction the third one is used for multiplication the fourth one is for division and the fifth one is the modulo division so let's uh, see how to use these operators and how to write the syntaxes while writing program so first we will see how to write the addition operator here i have given a example i want to add 10 plus 20 that the output comes as 30 so how to write this addition operator let's uh, take an example here i am declaring a two variable int a that i have taken 10 equal to, a equal to 10 and i am taking b equal to 10 20 for this addition i need one more variable the addition of this a and b that should be stored somewhere in the other variable so let's take an example i am taking another variable c and equal to i have pressed 1 plus b and put a semicolon so this is the basic syntax of uh, uh, c++ programs what we have to follow later on i will show you the whole program for timing you just remember how to make use of the addition operator and how we are going to write uh, and how to declare a variable how to assign a value to the variable so that is the example for how to use the addition operator similarly if i want to use the subtraction operator so as i have given here the example from 20 to 10 i want to subtract for example i want to subtract the value of b and c i want to just erase this and i want to use int c equal to b minus a so this is the way to use the subtraction operator similarly we can use the multiplication operator so let's take an example for example i want to multiply a and b i am taking a another variable d where a multiplied into p so this is the way to use the multiplication operator so the next one is we have to discuss the division operator and the modulo division operator my dear students there is a confusion always to use this division operator and the modulo division operator Uh, let me give an example when you have to get the quotient of a division you have to use the division operator 
if you want to get the remainder of a division you have to use the modulo division so let's take an example for example here i have uh, here i am giving an example 12 divided by 5 so if the 12 i want to divide by 5 taken 5 5 to the 10 remainder bacha 2 so, agar hum division operator ka use kar rahe hai, the output will come the quotient, this two. And if we are going to use the modulo division operator, the output will come the remainder. Okay, I am going to give a, another example. Let's uh, erase this. I am for example, uh, let's take an example, 45 divided by 5. So, 5, 9, ja, 45. If in this division, if we are going to use the division operator, the output, it results 9. But if we are going to use the modulo division operator, it will return the remainder that is 0. So, always be careful while using the division operator and the modulo division operator. Do remember that the division operator returns the quotient of a division and the modulo division operator returns the remainder of that particular division. So, Let's uh, move to the next slide. Now we will discuss about what is relational operators. So relational operators are used when we want to test the value of two expression or two operands. So uh, whenever we are using the relational operators, it always need two operands. So, what is this operand? Let us take an example. For uh, example, I am writing A equal to B plus C. So, this plus is the operator and this B and C are known as the operands. Similarly, relational operators works on two operands. So, what are the uh, different relational operators we have? So, we have the uh, relational operators as less than, less than equal to, greater than, greater than equal to. This double equal to is known as comparison operator, comparison operator. And this is not equal to. So, whenever we are writing a relational expression, if the expression is true, it returns 1 and if the expression is false, it returns 0. So, these are the operators uh, which comes under relational operators. So, how to use this relational operators? Let us take an example for uh, then let us take uh, for example A equal to 5 I have taken and B equal to 10. Then I want to use any one of these relational operators. So, how to make use of these relational operators? For example, A, I want to check either A greater than B or I can write A greater than A, A less than B or A not equal to B. These are the different uses of the relational operators. So, if your condition or your relation expression returns true, matlab, agar ye condition true hua, the output will be 1. 
agar the condition is false then it returns zero so this is the basic use of the relational operators so moving to the uh, next slide let's uh, see what are the logical operators so under logical operators uh, we have or operator and operator and not operator or operator we uh, have to use the symbol as this then for and operator we are using two ampersand symbol then for not operation we have to use this negation part then how to use this logical operators the logical operator always uses on two relational expressions two or more than uh, one relational expressions so how to use this logical operator let's have a look for example i am taking uh, two variable x uh, equal to 10 and y equal to 15 this two values i have taken humko abhi use karna hai for example i want to use the and operator and do remember that whenever we are using the logical operator we have to use two relational expression if both the expression results true then the output will be true if any one condition lies false and we are using the and operator then the whole result will be false similarly if we are going to use the or operator and any one of the condition is true then the output becomes true thank you